Details on three structure fires at the North Myrtle Beach drag strip in Longs. Investigators revealing just over an hour ago they believe those flames were set intentionally. And that's exactly where we find our Ashley Listrom. So, Ashley, what are investigators telling you at this point? Rachel, investigators say these three buildings that were on fire were far enough apart that the flames could not spread to them. It's a revelation that's leaving many with ties here frustrated and upset. It's a bunch of burnt up rubble now. It's like everything is gone. The frustration tonight filling many with ties to the North Myrtle Beach drag strip. Definitely whoever did this to um, be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. Don Jones tells me he's been involved with the drag strip for nearly 10 years and tells me his heart sank when he saw the tower, bathroom, and concession stand all burnt. As soon as I came through the gate, it was just like a big downfall to see, first of all, our two-story tower, race side tower, track side tower is no longer here. A police report reveals the buildings were far enough apart and the fire could not have spread between the three, which is why they believe the fires were set on purpose. Jones tells me the track may never be the same again, but if they do come back, he says they'll come back stronger. It's going to be a hard time to get it back up off the ground if we're even able to. But if we are, just come support. I mean, we're not going to have buildings for a while, but we can set up a food tent. We can get Porter Johns out here. We can run off a flashlight start. Baby, we can get back racing. As soon as this is released from the police investigation, we can get back racing. This case remains under investigation and we'll update you as soon as we learn more. Livenory County, Ashley Listrom, WMVF News.